everyone, it is Thursday, August 21st in the year of our Lord, 2014. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's Thrash Metal Thursday. Yeah, Ronnie James, Theo, 1970. Foul. Damn right. Um, folks, our unofficial sponsor of the show will be announced in a moment when I announce her birthday and all that good stuff. You'll understand it. It'll all come together nice. Woo! Right now, I am so pious and I am so excited because guess what's that, baby? One of my all-time favorite beers ever! Sam Adams Oktoberfest is back, baby! 5.3% of absolute exquisite wicked awesomeness. Out of Boston, Massachusetts, the best city in the world, best state in the nation. Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America, period, dot, end of freaking story. 5.3%, just as made above normal strength. Yeah, brewed with caramel. Mm -hmm. Sam Adams Oktoberfest. You gotta pour in the proper Thrash Metal Thursday beer consumption apparatus. Proud beer winning apparatus, pop section. Here we go. 45 degrees right into the beer consumption apparatus, right on the keyboard, because I'm just that damn good. Have a little job yet, never have, never will. Cheers, beer to all of you, plus it's in Germany, Kabaya, it's in Japan. Oh God! Mouthgasm. A plus all the way for this here beer. Listen to that shredding. Boy, yeah, Motorhead. No joke, folks. Let me kill Mr. Motorhead. What a great way to start the show with some speed metal. Let me kill Mr. 69 years old. He's a freaking freak. Mm. Only problem with live recording. All that crowd noise kind of distorts the sound a little bit. That's why I have an issue with live recordings there, Kevin Sherman. But, I gotta admit, they do play more hardcore during live recordings, so I understand why metalheads love to frickin' rock. Because live concerts, metalheads go all out, baby. Balls to the wall. Anyway, here we go. Speaking of balls, they work. They do for little fetus, my good friend Robert Cleese and his wonderful, gorgeous, amazing, better half, Victoria K. That's S-A-J-Y. Now he's the pride of Agawam, Massachusetts, and a badass creep dog that I know from Joe Hill, England. Robert Cleese and his wonderful, better half, Victoria. Yesterday, Gabe Bell. For the first time ever. Congratulations. Little fetus gave birth to a little fetus. Yeah, Robert. I call him Little Fetus because he's, first time I met him, such a young fella and such an awesome guy and from the greatest state in the nation. Robert Calise, I'm so proud of you, brother. And I know you and your wonderful half, Victoria, are going to make an amazing, amazing set of parents. Wicked awesome job. Mighty proud of you. Way to go. Hey, the plumbing works. Isn't that awesome? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, God. He's a mess between me. Sorry, folks. Texting. I hate texting. Hi. Now, today's unofficial sponsor of our show is our dear friend Pistol Marie, the lovely goddess from Pistols Place. She has her own show, and uh. She freaking rocks. And Pistol Marie, my dear, a former multiple real babe of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Happy birthday to you, my dear. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, you need to do another show soon. A bartender, a goddess, a hottie, a sweetheart, a dear friend. Absolutely. Make sure that you need French for Wicked Awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? So I'm talking to Boot. Oh, Canada, indeed. Guys, give some love to our neighbors up north. Well, Pistol Marie, my dear, you're going to love this show. I promise you, I guarantee it. We got more in store for you on this show. So do me a favor. Stay tuned, will ya? Will ya? And drink with me, my dear. As we say, party hard and enjoy celebrating like it's 1969, minus the acid. Cheers and beer for you. Now, when I tell people I'm busy, I mean it. 
Alright, next on the list, my good friend Dave Morse. Dave, this guy, the pride of me, a real maniac, and a badass man of jammer I know from exotic Japan, and a damn good man he is. Dave Morse, happy birthday to you, brother. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Awesome guy, no doubt about it. Dude, I do miss you, miss playing you in the old song pop, though. Come on, man. Bring it on back, will ya? Yeah, yeah. Probably going for that next job promotion. So you've been busy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Dave. Me. Dave, happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beer. Next on the list. Alyssa Miyazaki, a lovely goddess of a lady that I know from the Mafia Wars. Um, also, another account she uses, Kamiko. I do believe same people, right? Or do you have a twin sister? That's something I never did ask you, Alyssa. And I know you haven't played Mafia Wars in a while, and I'd love to have you back. But either way, great hearing from you, and I hope you're doing well, and happy birthday to you, and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. That's just insane right there, folks. Next on the list. The lovely, amazing Laura Bernard. A lovely, lovely lady and a very dear friend that I know from good old Martha's Vineyard Island, Massachusetts, best island in the world. Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts, best town in the world. Laura Bernard. Fine out saying graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1988 and she is absolutely great. Laura, happy birthday to you. Haven't heard from you in a little while. Love to hear from you. Let me know how you're doing, will you? And hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate while and enjoy. Cheers and beers. People in their freaking texting. They don't understand. I said I'm busy. Oh, that's my wife. I thought it was... I had somebody else texting me. That was the music. That was an over minute long guitar tone. Huh? I can't hear you. Oh, that's music. That's thrash metal. Yeah! Guess my wife's not a big fan of Motorhead. Eh. Oh well. Beats country music in my opinion. Oh, Black Magic by Slayer. Here we go. Ugh. You never go wrong with a little bit of Slayer. Um. My good friend Mark Markison. Mark, a badass crew dog! That I work with in jolly old England, Mike. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard from you in a little while. A little while. Love to hear from you. Drop me a line, man. Let me know how life's treating you, dude. Definitely miss you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And the final birthday of the day goes to my good friend. Uh, is it Jan with Sorensen or Jan with Sorensen? I think it's Jan with Sorensen. Um, Mafia Wars player. That's right. It's all about whacking schmucks and schmuckettes. You know, you get off of work. You need to ice some pools. That's what we do. Teamwork makes the dream work. The more we have in our crew, the better, right? And it's definitely great having you in the crew. And happy birthday to you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Hey, cheers the best to you. My only problem with thrash, 80s thrash metal, the recording quality was never as loud for some reason. I don't know why. Definitely 80s thrash metal right here. Alright. Well, we've also got so, that wedding anniversary was from a few days ago. Sorry about that. Whew. All right. We had a trivia question. It was a good one. Oh, yes, and it got answered correctly. I was worried for a bit. What sport did both Sammy Hagar and his father take part in prior to his heavy metal roots? Well, you know, you're going to be hardcore, and why not, before Don King bought it. Our good friend Eric Jovet. He's a DJ in good old Puerto Rico! Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Eric Jovet? Not only was it Jovet. 
you know, like Frank style. J O B E T. Eric, awesome guy, DJ Eric, legend on the airways in Puerto Rico, and like me, a big time beer connoisseur, no doubt about that. And Eric nailed it. You said it. Boxing. Wicked awesome job, Eric. A definite knockout punch and a big love that to salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. Way to go, brother. Way to go. And a big hearty cheers and beers for you. Sammy Hagar with a boxer. Who knew? Alright, let's give some quick additional shout outs. Like my good friend Matt and his wonderful, gorgeous, amazing, better half, Kendra. Former hunk and babe of the day on beer and song of the day. Actually, Matt, did we feature you? I think we did. If not, we're going to. It's got, it's got to be done. I know Kendra will agree with that. Kendra's a former real babe of the day, one of our first ones we had. Um, they had a pride in New Hampshire. He's a bubble chasing legend of a man that I worked with in jolly old England. And Kendra, she's a, a kick ass Texas Hold'em player. She beat my ass, and I'm damn good. I win 80% of the time. Kendra, you're going to play again sometime. I'm going to get my money back. Mama needs clothes. Kids need shoes. But I got my grill fixed a few years back. Matt, Kendra, you two are absolutely wicked awesome. And I want to say cheers and beers and honorably with a good old Sam Adams October fest. So drink with me, will ya? This stuff goes down too good, too smooth. Don't worry. Always prepared, like a true professional. We got another one. Good, I love it. I'm so happy I bought a big old 12 pack of this stuff. Let's bring out the next song, shall we? Sammy Hagar, Heavy Metal. A little bit of Sammy today. Why not? Makes sense. I mean, we just talked about him with the trivia question. Heavy Metal. Sammy Hagar. Actually, this song was in the uh, 1981 movie Heavy Metal. How about that? Probably opening up brass pop technique. Forty-five grand right in the beer, something that brass right over the keyboard, and that damn good. Haven't spilled drop yet, never have, never will. I found out what's for dinner tonight. Pizza, 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 yummy. Cheers the best all of you pussies in Germany, Pies, they say in Japan. Alright. Now, my good friend, Matt Flanders. Who I know from good old being here in Massachusetts at a fine house in Graduate Moth, the Virginia Beach High School class in 1993. We were in Boy Scout Troop 91. That's right. And Matt, this is freaking awesome, dude. Matt, haven't heard from you in a while. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you're doing. And uh, you want to know something cool, brother? I met a friend of yours today down here in Abilene, Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. Same damn state. And that'd be our good friend, Eric Wennerstrom. Wennerstrom. Excuse me. What the hell the last name right there? Wennerstrom. That's it. Who was hanging out with my boy, Eddie the G? Is it Eddie Gonzalez? You gotta let me know there, Eric. Well, we got Eric, and uh, him and Eddie, they came through today. Now, Eddie's a freaking fruitcake. Him and I get along great. Eddie, I hope you watch the show, man. You freaking rock. Eddie! Eddie the G, man. You deserve a big love, Dr. Salute. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, Eric Wennerstrom. Wennerstrom. Wennerstrom, yeah. You mentioned to me Camp Greeno. Yeah, Boy Scout camp. You know? Oh, God. What what town was it located in? I remember going to Bicycle to Hyannis. I remember saying, oh, jeez. I'm trying to remember what town Camp Greeno was in. Yarmouth? It was in Yarmouth, wasn't it? I don't remember. We're talking 1984, 85 when I went there. Well, you met my good friend Matt Flanders at Camp Greeno. In 1986, I believe it was, he said. That's freaking awesome. And uh, Matt's a damn good guy. Yes, you are, Matt. You always have been. A walking brain of a man. A damn good man. A dapper man. And the only Boy Scout that we had in uh, Troop 91 that didn't smoke. Yeah, all the rest of us Boy Scouts smoke cigarettes. Terrible. 
But you know something? And Eric, I didn't tell you this today. My, uh, the, our scoutmaster for um, Troop 91 was my father's boss, Jerry Goodale. Jerry Goodale, Goodale Construction on Monson's Vineyard. He was the scoutmaster. And, uh, yeah, so my brother and I had to behave. A lot of the other Boy Scouts were pretty bad. They were. My brother and I, we knew we had to behave. Otherwise, if old Jerry Goodale stole my father, my father would whoop our ass. And Matt Flanders, dude, you still don't smoke. Good man. Don't bother. Don't stop. It's too damn expensive. Matt Flanders and Eric Wennerstrom, you guys freaking rock. Eddie the G. Oh, hell yeah. You as well, brother. So, hey, cheers and beers to the three of you, see? All right, I think it's time to bring out today's hunk of the day for beer and song of the day. We had a good song to go along with it. Because you know something? This guy's not really a real hardcore heavy metal guy. But he's such an amazing guitarist that any metalhead that doesn't like this guy probably isn't a real, true metalhead. Metalheads love talent. Metalheads love blues. Metalheads love great guitar music. They love classical. They love <coughs> me. Um, legends like Les Paul, the great, late great Les Paul. But how can you not love Eddie Van Halen? Squeeze me. And the song, oh God, hiccups. And the song is Everybody Wants Some. Well, hey, I am the love doctor. Everybody wants some of the love doctor. But they ain't getting that because I'm married to freaking royalty. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I love goddess freaking rocks. Eddie Van Halen freaking rocks. And, uh, you know, this is our hunk of the day, our beer and song of the day. Big and E. I just want to let. You all know that uh, we will not have a show on Friday and Saturday. We've got our dear friends from jolly old England out of Utah that are visiting us down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana. Eddie Van Halen, what a freaking badass he is still to this day. Now, I, I went with a lot of his old school pictures. Because I'll tell you what, back in the 80s, the women and the men that loved the men wanted to plow this guy. They probably still do. Eddie Van Hill, what a freaking legend. That's a badass guitar, that's a badass picture right there. And a lung slayer to boot, huh? Why? Shit, why not? You only live once. Yeah! Almost looks like Merca. Merca! Hell yeah! You know, we do have a bunch of uh, famous birthdays for today. How about the late, great, legendary St. Louis Cardinals announcer, Jack Buck? The original Jack Buck. Not his son and grandson. The original Jack Buck, born this day, 1924, passed away 2002. Um, Melvin Van Peebles, phenomenal actor, director. Melvin Van Peebles and his son Mario Van Peebles, a legend as well. Melvin Van Peebles and his amazing 70s exploitation movies. I'm a big fan of those. Melvin Van Peebles, 82 years old today. Absolutely awesome. Are you on awesome? All right, now, just because I said I'm not as much of a country music fan as I am a heavy metal fan, doesn't mean I don't appreciate some good yeehaw country music. You all know that. Yeehaw Western Wednesday, because a lot of you fans do love country. You love both kinds, country and western. Well, y'all better know Kenny Rogers then. Kenny Rogers, a true legend indeed. A year ago today was our hunk of the day and our featured legend. We played a bunch of Kenny Rogers, Rogers songs. Well, Kenny Rogers, the legend, the beard, beard. 76 years old today and still going strong. <clears throat> and he's on like his millionth wife or something too. Singer Alize, A-L-I-Z-E-E. -E. I'm not overly familiar with her, but all I know is she's hot, real hot, damn hot, wicked hot, and smoking hot. 30 years old today. 
Usain Bolt. Anybody who knows anything about the Summer Olympics better be familiar with Jamaican sprinter slash legend, six foot five inch Usain Bolt. Hey, perfect last name for a true running legend. The fastest of the fastest Jamaica Spring does. That's right. Usain Bolt, 28, and doing great. You want a goddess? <whistles> Former babe of the day. I got to bring her back down the road because she's hot. Hayden Panettiere. Good God. Hayden Panettiere, 25 years old today, and just drop dead gorgeous. She's so hot, even blind people know how fine she is. Okay? That's hot. No, 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 no. Don't take a Don't take a Here's a guy who claimed to have plowed over 30,000 women in his lifetime. Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain, one of the greatest NBA basketball players in history. Wilt Chamberlain, born on this day in 1936, passed away in 1999. Wilt the Stilt, a legend indeed. Today is a hot day for hot birthdays, folks. Casey Musgraves, yeehaw country singer. Casey Musgraves, 26 years old today. And drop dead gorgeous. Former baby of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Here's another hottie. She's been featured as well. Kim Cottrell. Kim Cottrell. We remember her in Porky's. Ow! Yeah, the movie night from 1981, Porky's. Uh -huh. Kim Cottrell. Yeah, howling. And she was slutty. She showed her boobies a lot over the years. Kim Cottrell, 58, and still looking pretty great. B.J. Upton, um, Major League Baseball player, Tampa Bay Rays. B.J. Upton, 30 years old today, just like Allie Z. Carrie Ann Moss, another hottie. Um, actress, 47, and definitely a gift sent from heaven. And finally, the late, great, jazz, badass, legend, one of the all-time best ever, Count Basie. If you're not familiar with Count Basie, you don't even know what the word jazz means, okay? When you think jazz, you better think of Count Basie. Count Basie, born in the state in 1904, passed away in 1984 at the age of 79. There you go, Eddie Van Halen. What a freaking man beast he is, huh? There you go. You know, let's do a little drink. And drink with me now, will you? Oh, look at those guitars. Wow. Epic. Freaking epic. Eddie Van Halen. If you don't like Van Halen, you probably don't like music. Either that or you're a Justine Bieber fan, okay? Eddie Van Halen. You don't even have to like um, heavy metal to appreciate the awesomeness of this legend. Eddie Van Halen. Badass. Beast. Legend. Musical genius. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at that, will you? Alright, so there we go, folks. Now it's time to bring on my feature, my favorite part of the show. Today's babe of the day. She's a birthday girl. She's wicked fine. She's been featured as our real babe of the day on a couple of editions. She's one of our unofficial sponsors, Pistol Marie. That's right. Pistol Marie of Pistol's Place. She's got her own YouTube show. She's a bartender and a legend and just a real sweetheart. And for her, we're going to play a song. Now, I'm not big on remakes. And my good friend Kevin Sherman, I, I will give you credit on this. It's a good song for her. Oh, Pretty Woman. Now, Roy Orbison nailed it in 1965. The perfect version. Oh, pretty woman. Yeah. Well, this is a remake by Eddie Van Halen. By Van Halen. And, uh, you know, not a bad remake. Can't beat the original. But we're going to go with it. Because, you know, today is Thrash Metal Thursday. Got to throw some hard rock. Because this freaking woman rocks! So does Hard Rock Cafe, Angela City, Philippines. That's right. I've been there. Angela City, Philippines. Been there a bunch of times. Look at her, will ya? 
Yeah, she knows what's she knows what's up, Ronnie James Dio, nineteen seventy five. That's a real metalhead. You want to put it that way, you can too. Good God. Now my good friend Kevin Sherman actually helps her out with the um, technological parts of her show. Like I said, she's a licensed bartender and a phenomenal one at that. Every show, she makes a few drinks, shows you how to make them. So you gotta go check out Pistol's Place on the old YouTube. Check out Pistol Marie on the old Facebook. If you can't spell Pistol Marie, you're dumber than a second coat of paint. To quote the late great George Kylan. P-I-S-T-O-L. M-A-R-I-E. If she's got guns, she will screw you up if you piss her off. You don't fuck with her. Oh, I dropped the F-bomb. Whoops. Sorry, kids. Yeah, you don't fit with Pistol Marie. She'll whoop your ass. And rightfully so. Oh, Pistol Marie, my dear. Birthday girl. Babe of the day. Third time's the charm, right? you damn right. Now, this is the full version portion of Oh Pretty Woman. There's actually a uh, shorter version, but I went with the full version, okay, which is why you're hearing the instrumental beginnings, in case people are wondering out there. Don't mess with me. I know my music. Pistol Marie. That's how you spell it, kids. Ain't she hot? Real hot? Damn hot? Wicked hot? Smoking hot? Oh, Pistol Marie, my dear. You're getting a love Dr. Salute from me. Why? Because you like Smith Barney. You made it the old-fashioned way. You earned it. Stunningly gorgeous. She is also a big fan of Beer and Song of the Day. My page. My YouTube show. So yeah, it's all about good people, helping good people to reach out to other good people like you, the viewer, okay? <coughs> Squeeze me. View that, will ya? Hell oh, yeah. Shit. She's so gorgeous, she'll make a gay man go straight. Ride this. <laughs> I would. If I was single, of course. Yep. Hey, on this day in 1991, Latvia declares independence from the Soviet Union. Happy Independence Day, Latvia. Okay. Pepperoni. I, I heart you. No, you don't. I love you more. Honest Day in 1989, the day that the lovely, gorgeous, drop dead, finer than a new set of snow tires, Hayden Panettiere, or I want to say Pantyary. Yeah, panties. I love panties. I do. I won't wear them, but I love them. I love seeing women in panties, all right? But anyway, enough said on that. Speak oh, good God. Um, Honestly, 1989, Voyager 2, which was launched in 1977, begins a flyby of the planet Neptune. 25 years ago today, I remember watching it on TV over at my grandparents' house when that happened. You know, I just played this song yesterday that was perfectly fine. I don't know why it's screwed up now. That makes no damn sense. I think the song got corrupted today. It was supposed to be Old Pretty Woman by Eddie Van Halen. Well, what are you going to do? Technical difficulties, folks. I do have the luck of a murder victim with electronic devices. This is nothing new. You all know that. Wow. Pretty woman, Van Halen, screwed up. That sucks. I will give a GFY to my own computer for being a schlepper. I better find something fast. Because this show ain't over yet. It's close to over. What the hell did I just do? Oh, I just minimized the wrong screen. That's what I did. God, I suck with electronic devices. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. Why not? I need to find something good. Because I don't know what happened to that song. 
But we did find something special for this lovely lady. How about some pour some sugar on me, Def Leppard? Why not? A little bonus song today, since the last one screwed up. I'll tell you, Kevin Sherman, I'm going to tell you something right now, brother. You know, I love your choices of music, but obviously, I wasn't a big fan of the remake of Oh Pretty Woman. The old saying is you never screw with an original, okay? A mini, mini, mini GFY to you, brother. I still love you, buddy. Not in that way. Don't get emotionally erect. Save that erectness for a goddess like that. The nice assets. On this day in 1986, I was watching this baseball game on TV. Spike Owen, Boston Red Sox, um, scored six runs in a 24-5 route of the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, we, we whooped the shit out of them. Two outs in the sixth inning. My beloved Boston Red Sox scored 11 runs. 28 years ago today, the day that Usain Bolt was born. Honestly, in 1983, 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 43 Celsius for my method friends, eh? Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's a state record. 110 in North Carolina, probably doing this shit, too. Honestly, in 1977, Donna Patterson Bryce sets a high, sets a high water, water skiing record. Sets a water skiing record, 111.11 miles per hour. That's 111.11 miles per hour. That's freaking cool. And that's wicked fast on water. Honest Day 1976, Battle of East Sussex, as Mary Langdon becomes the first ever British firewoman. Wow. I love that picture. That is the uh, pistol place picture right there, folks. Honest Day 1975, Rick and Paul Russell. Become the first brothers to pitch a combined shutout. That's allowing no runs in a nine-inning ball on, or in a single ball game. I know Rick Russell. I don't. I'm not as familiar with his brother Paul, but that's pretty cool. So is that. Look at those panties. Sugar sweet, baby. Pour some sugar on me. If I was single, of course. Spiked boobies. And always don't mess with them. Yeah. On day 1968, Marine, United States Marine, James Anderson Jr. becomes the first ever Black Medal of Honor winner. Wow, there were no World War II or Korea Medal of Honor winners that were black. That's kind of sad. What about Steve Airman? They did a lot of amazing things. How did they not get a Medal of Honor winner? I don't know. I think they have nowadays. I'm not sure on that. On this day, 1967, Ken Harrelson becomes baseball's first ever free agent. He was with the Boston Red Sox and went over to the Chicago White Sox. Heartbreaking. Because he was a badass with us. Our Red Sox. On this day, 1959, happy birthday, Hawaii. The 50th and final state in the United States of America. I don't think we're ever going to see 51 because, God forbid, Americans say, we don't want to mess with a perfect 50, even though Puerto Rico should become the 51st state in the U.S. They won't do it because we can't have a 51-star flag. That would be odd. So August 21st, 1959, Hawaii became the 50th state in the United States of America. And we have our perfect flag because of it. I say 1947, first ever Little League World Series, the Maynard Midgets of Williamsport, Pennsylvania win. There you go. Now you know. I say 19. Speaking of midgets, how about that? Aw, little doggy. I say 1929, the Chicago Football Cardinals become the first ever pro football team to train out of town. Yeah, they trained elsewhere. How about that? Probably the town over or something. I don't know. 
On this day in 1888, William Seward Burroughs patents the adding machine. Yeah, there you go. On this day in 1887, the mighty Dan Casey struck out in a game with the New York baseball giants. You know, the famous 1888 DeWolf Hopper, Hopper um, poem, the mighty Case, Casey at the bat. Yeah, but Casey was a real baseball player, mighty Dan Casey, and he struck out. Shit happens. But this ain't shit. Oh, God. That's hot. Real hot. Damn hot. Wicked hot. Smoking hot. <whistles> hot. Diggity dog damn. Honestly, in 1883, Providence. Yes, Providence, Rhode Island used to have a Major League Baseball team a long time ago. Providence shuts out the Philadelphia Phillies 28 0. That's a real ass whooping right there. Honestly, in 1878, the American Bar Association organizes. Where at? Saratoga, New York. Well, we know lawyers are generally not trusted anyway in professional bullshit artists like politicians. So how ironic. New York. Yeah. yeah I had to go there. I'm a mass hole. Wouldn't be me if I didn't mess with New York a little bit, you know. Finally, on this day in 1841, John Hampton patents the Venetian blind. Venetian blinds on this day in 1841. How cool is that? Wicked cool. How cool is that? That's not cool. That's hot. That's smoking hot. Nice assets. Damn right. Yowza. Good Lord. Can't get enough of this. And oh, by the way, look at that. She likes beer. Beer. I'll drink to that. And you should too. That right there. Shiner Bark. Out of Shiner, Texas. Sports Zell Brewery. We started in 1909, the oldest brewery in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico. So yeah, this lady, she knows her adult beverages, the way to love Dr. Notes, his adult beverages. Awesome stuff, folks. Wicked awesome. Yes. So we will finish off the show. She's representing my favorite hard alcohol right there, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan and I are good friends. Sometimes I whoop his ass. Sometimes he whoops my ass. Captain Morgan Spice Rum. That's my favorite hard alcohol choice. Okay? Now you know. <laughs> Squeeze me. Yeah, we should drink to that. I think that's sexy. So is that. Smackin' hot, hot diggity dog damn. Drink to her? Yes, we shall. Our real baby today on Fair and Song of the Day. Diggity. What do you think, fans? Is she worthy? You damn right she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm talking about. Alright. Well, drink up there, kids. Anthony is a brain cells of an average anchor fan. <laughs> Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Vernon Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus to head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. Might spill your drink. All you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving. It is dumb to be a Yankees fan. And what's dumb to that? It's rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Eh, I'm good, Tom Brady. <laughs> Not even close there, you inbred schlepperette. Manning, or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people to watch on pets, or fake friends, or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid. And definitely deserve a B. Right. GFY. Well, somebody, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll see you all Sunday. We're off the next two days. I got things to do. Busy as a dyke in a hardware store. To quote the late great George Kylan. Yeah. Folks, I'll see y'all on Sunday. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.